All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've recorded our voiceover. Now it's time for the editing process. One thing I always share with my students is when you begin the editing process, always, always, always start editing from the beginning and work your way down the file till you get to the end. Do not skip around editing. Do not skip around editing. For example, you know, editing right here and and then, you know, going back here, to, you know, to the beginning to, to edit and then going over here to edit and then go back, you know, here. Don't do that because if you go back and listen to it and you mess up, you're going to have to undo um, everything just to get to the part that you need to fix. Does that make sense? I think I went back too far there. <laughs> Let's redo record. There we go. But don't skip around editing. Always start from the beginning during your editing, okay? So let's begin the editing process. Well, one thing uh, I always encourage students to do, every time you go to edit, zoom in and zoom out. Make that a part of your practice. Make that a part of your workflow while you are in the studio and you are editing. And how do you zoom in and zoom out? You use the wheel on the mouse. OK, I'm using the wheel on the mouse to zoom in and to zoom out. And every time I zoom in this up here, this bar is your view. This lets you know what you are seeing out down here in the waveform. And I can grab this and look at any part of the audio file that I want. OK, so just keep that in mind. Zoom out. I got all of this here. I'm looking at the entire track. But once I start to zoom in. This lets me know what I am looking at specifically. And wherever this red marker is, is where the audio will play. So, okay. So just a little food for thought. And also down here, this is another way that you can zoom in and zoom out. Okay. These different magnifying glasses down here will give you the same capabilities of zooming in and zoom out. And if I bring the mouse over here to the right and you hit the wheel on the mouse, I can make the, the file smaller or bigger vertically, okay? This doesn't make any adjustments to the audio. It's only a visual, okay? This is helpful when I'm trying to get those breaths and I may not see them real good. And when I wanna edit my breaths out, okay? I can make it bigger. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, let's begin the editing process. So the first edit, let's go to the very beginning of the file. This is where I begin here. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and get the very beginning of that file and delete. Okay. When I've edited, I like to use the shortcuts of control C, control X, control Z, control V. Those are shortcuts on your, your keyboard. If you're using a Mac, it's com command Z, X, C, V. And if you do not know what those shortcuts are, you will learn as you continue with your workflow, go up here to edit and it will show you what those shortcuts are. You see, if I wanna copy something, I have a Mac, so it's Command C, but if you are on a PC, it will be Control C. If I wanna paste something, it will be Control V. Cut something is Control X or Command X, okay? So on and so forth. All of your shortcuts is right here to show you what to do. So after each edit, I always play it back. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. Nothing in the fridge. And that's one thing I do it just as a voice actor and, and, and guys that, that do voiceovers that are veterans. I'm, I'm sure that they do this as well. They'll do variations of the same line. It's not that, you know, one is better than the other. They'll just provide variation so they, well, I guess it is. They choose the one that they they feel sounds the best. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. I like the second one. It sounds a little bit more jipper. So we zoom in because I want to get the very beginning of that. It's like fine precision editing. Hit delete. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. Nothing in the fridge and nothing in the cupboards. I'm going to pause. I'm going to zoom in and 
get just a little bit in between. After each edit, go back and play it through to make sure it sounds okay. It's two in the morning and you're starving. Nothing in the fridge and nothing in the cupboards. You don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. You don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. You don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. I'm going to keep the first one. So I'm going to highlight that. Just to, Notice that when I'm editing, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the little sweet spot in between. I'm not editing like this. You don't want to do that. And this is why it's important to zoom in because if you don't, you'll end up clipping your words if you don't zoom in. This is why it's so important to zoom in when you edit so that you can see precisely what you're getting. You don't want to edit like this, okay? So always, always, always zoom in, okay? And always play back your, your edits before you move on to the next process. There's nothing in the cupboards. You don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. <clears throat> you don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. <clears throat> you think about cooking, but then you remember to... Go. go back and listen to it. Have dog biscuits hanging around. You think about cooking, but then you remember the three alarm fire you started last time you tried using the stove. Well, check out 7 Eleven. Well, check out. Well, check out 7 Eleven. Well, check out 7 Eleven. So I'm going to get this one here. See that little breath there? I'm going to take that out. Zooming in. Not getting too tight. When you edit tight, it it, it tends to uh, sound like you're you're chopping yourself off. Using the stove. Well, check out Seven Eleven. See, there's a lot of background noise there, so I don't need any well, of this. Check out. Well, check out Seven Eleven. There's got to be one right near you. Let me see. What did I say? Check out Seven Eleven. gotta be one right near you at 7-eleven there's gotta be one right near you well check out 7-eleven there's gotta be one right near you they've got there we go they've got an F right near you they've got everything from burgers to tacos 24 hours a day seven days a week and then, whoa, that's too far. Let's go there. Let's see. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When you need something late. I actually forgot the, re I, I memorized this script. I know this script so much. I've, I've been teaching students this commercial for so long. I know it by when heart. you need something late. But I forgot that seven, last part. Seven, so I just made something up. When you need a week. When you need a day, seven days a week. When you need something late, check out 7 Eleven. There's. Let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Check out something late. Check out 7 Eleven. There's got to be one right near you. There we go. And make sure that there's no dead space at the end or the beginning of the file. That's my preference. Um, you know, in radio, there's no dead air. So after I'm done editing, I'm not finished yet because I want to play it back and make sure everything sounds good. This is, you are the last person of defense of fixing any problems or issues while you are right there in the studio. Because if you hear something incorrect, you can easily hit record because you're still in that same mode. You've got the same energy and everything. You don't want to not listen to what you just edited uh, before you save it. Uh, because it could be something off and then you have to go back and re-record. You know, you may have to fix one part, but then what if your energy is not the same? Your vocal range, your, your vocal levels is not the same. So fix it and fix it right then and there. So let's listen to it. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. Nothing in the fridge and nothing in the cupboards. You don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. You think about cooking, but then you remember the three alarm fire you started last time you tried using the stove. Well, check out 7-Eleven. There's got to be one right near you. They've got everything from burgers to tacos. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When you need something late, check out 7-Eleven. There's got to be one right near you.
All right, very good. It sounds cool. Now, some some students may point out, well, Mr. Anthony, I seen it in red. It 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 was in the red. Yeah, it just tickled the red, baby. It's it's just tickling the red. But if it stays in the red, it's dead. <laughs> that's the thing. If it stays in the red, it's dead. And if it tickles the red, that's fine. You know, we can make adjustments. Um, and how I can do that, number one, there, there's a couple of ways I can do that, right? Um you think about cooking. See how it tickles the red right there? I can highlight that, right? You think about cooking. And I can grab this. This I call it I call this the doohickey, but it's not called the doohickey. It's actually called the ad adjust amplitude. Okay. But it's hidden right up here. And you can grab this and move this around. But this doohickey, I can turn, I can grab my file here. Let's let's zoom it out a little bit. I can highlight the portion that I think is a little too loud. Let me put it on loop here. Okay. And I can turn it down a little bit. I can adjust the amplitude of that file. You see how it turned came down a little bit? You think about cooking, you think about cooking. And it's still you in the red. About cooking, you think about cooking, you think about cooking, you think about cooking, see you think about cooking, you think about see how I took it out the red? You think about if that tickles your fancy, if that was bothering you, now it's fixed, okay? But the, the thing that you want to keep in mind when you are recording and getting your levels, that if it stays in the red, it is bleeding. It is bleeding out. It is dead. But, if it tickles, it's okay. But then you remember the See, that's just a little big old B there. Let's bring that down a little bit. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. There we go. But then you remember the three alarm fire you started. So that's a way that you can adjust your your well, your levels if it just bothers you that much. Another way is uh, putting compression on my file and making adjustments. So I have favorites here, but you could go into effects and go to amplitude and compression. Amplitude and compression. I like I layer my voiceovers up with a couple. I'll show you one right now. I'll put a heart limiter on this, right? And then I'll go into the presets here and go to medium. And then I'm going to preview it because it's going to probably make it a little louder into the red. So um so as I'm playing, I'm going to adjust the amplitude here to get it to where I want it to be. So it's two in the morning and you're starving. Nothing in the fridge and nothing in the cupboards. You don't even have dogs. See how I'm bringing it down out of the red? Think about cooking, but then you remember the three alarm fire you started last time you tried using the stove. Well, check out 7-Eleven. There's got to be one. There. Now I'm going to hit apply. Now watch what this does. See how that evens it out? That's how I know that there's... Comp whenever I see a file sent to me, um, that, that, that stiff, that smooth line there... That's compression. That's what compression does to audio. It compresses it, okay? It makes the loud parts lower and the lower parts a little louder. It thickens it up. I usually add another layer or maybe some EQ in there, but I'll save that for another video. But that's... that's you don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. You think about cooking, but then you remember the three alarm fire you started last time you tried using the stove. So you see how the levels are, are capped at where I set it at with that hard limiter, okay? Now, the last steps here, I'm gonna show you uh, in, in, in doing a new audio file. Now it's time to save the file, okay? And we have to convert it to an MP3 because the client needs to listen to it to be approved. So you go to file, save as, okay? File, save as, click on save as. When this box pops open, Again, you're going to hear my little mantra in your head. Don't skip these steps. 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 Why am I being intentionally obnoxious with saying don't skip these steps? Because this is where most mistakes happen because students skip the steps. Okay. The number one step, the first step, file name. We handled that in the beginning, okay? We got it named what we already created the file to be. The second step, this is where most students screw up because they don't save their file where they need to save it, 
is the location. You want to make sure you select the correct folder, the desired location on where you want to save this file. For sake of example, I'm going to just put it right here um, on my desktop because this is my own personal laptop and I can do that. But I actually have a voiceover folder um, saved you know, for all my voiceover production. The next step is format. Change the format to MP3. You see, I just hit that drop down arrow and go to MP3. Okay, this is important because the everything is in the details. If a client prefers MP3, give them MP3. Do not send them a session. Do not send them a WAV file. The client needs the MP3, okay? So those are the steps. You do not skip. Make sure the name, it is named correctly. Make sure you have it saved in the location. You know exactly where it's at. And then change the format to MP3. And then you hit OK. And that's it. That is it. And then you can go back, find that file. And it should be exactly where you have it located, OK? There it is right there. See, SA711 demo, it is uh So, it's two in the morning and you're starving. Nothing in the fridge. Now I can attach this to an email and send it to my bootleg client. Thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, drop a comment below, and also share this video.